What's 3D biopsy? Wide area, transepithelial, three-dimensional. The Watts 3D biopsy uses proprietary technology, originally developed to differentiate warheads from decoys as part of the Star Wars Missile Defense Program. The same advanced computer algorithm is now employed to differentiate normal from abnormal cells. The Watts biopsy accurately diagnoses lower esophageal abnormalities and diseases. The forceps biopsy using the current Seattle protocol leaves a lot of tissue unsampled. The non-representative nature of the forceps biopsy using that protocol leads to missing significant abnormalities and underestimating significant esophageal disease. The Watts 3D biopsy allows clinicians to collect more tissue over a wider area in the esophagus, making it much more likely that, that abnormality will be sampled. Transepithelial. Traditional cytology uses a soft brush that obtains a superficial sample only collecting cells from the surface of the mucosa. Unlike cytology, the Watts 3D biopsy obtains a full thickness tissue sample, shearing the epithelium down to its deepest location, the lamina propria, where the abnormal cells may be lurking. The Watts 3D biopsy collects both individual cells and microbiopsies, fragments of intact tissue providing the pathologist greater evidence of abnormality than traditional cytology. Three-dimensional analysis. Standards histology selects random slices of the specimen and may miss the most significant evidence of abnormality. Watts Neural Network computers scan and analyze every single cell on the uniquely thick and disaggregated sample and automatically selects the most suspicious cells for further analysis. By electronically cutting the specimen into more than 100 layers and then creating a synthetic combined image using proprietary technology known as EDF, each cell is in focus for analysis. Scanners tag every cell, and the analysis consists of 16 different optical tests on each. The neural network is trained to select the same cellular abnormalities as a pathologist would, and ultimately present the most abnormal cells to the specially trained pathologist for final diagnosis. A comprehensive pathology report from CDX Diagnostics is sent to the referring doctor, clearly displaying the abnormal cells and supporting biomarker evidence. 